Yo, this is JD Zero. It is time. It is time uh, to send me some eggs. Now, what I mean by send me some eggs, uh, I'm going to be doing a new type of lock that I mean, it probably might be a little bit similar to any other lock, but I call it the JD Zero lock. There's two ways of doing it. Um, but for this particular one that I'm doing is a uh, an egg lock, but it's called a egg lock solo run. So what I need you guys to do is send me eggs, basically. So once you send me these eggs, I'll pick a random egg and I'll use that for the uh, Nuzlocke challenge that I'm doing for well the JD lock that I'm doing and the JD lock that I'm doing is the Pokemon Y so uh, it's, it's pretty easy you know uh, I'm basically going to show you exactly how to make an egg so once this egg is uh, you know uh, Basically, when this egg is officially you know, made correctly and right, you'll be able to uh, send me the eggs through said email. I will have the email down in the description. Uh, but you know, just in case, if you wanna, you know, that if you wanna send me the egg, just so I can actually do this. Uh, but for example, we have Squirtle here. Now we type in the species the Squirtle. We go to where it says is is it egg? You set it up as an egg there. The nickname will be changed to an egg. You have to click the mark to make it an egg nickname. You can actually change the name of that uh, of the egg and then once I get it I'll name it as that Pokemon um, you can either go by the uh, regular ability or the hidden ability uh, the only thing about that it has to be uh, legitimate, legitimately be able to because there is a check marker saying that if it's not oh, you know, meant to have it, it's not meant to have it unless it was um, from the previous games and you have to make like a previous uh, egg that has the uh, the previous poke like from the, the let's see, the uh, previous game let's see, where, where is the options so let's see, where is it oh, uh, no, no, no say it Okay, here it is. So, you know where it says for uh, black, white, black two. If if it's from these previous games that are able to have that ability, then that's the only way you can have the ability. Um, be able to be used the abilities on there. But since it's X and Y, some of the abilities weren't available into the game, so you can't breed them. Sometimes you can breed them, and it's legit. So you had to make this Pokemon. Uh, pretty much legit uh, now since uh, I am using Pokemon Y just go ahead and pit Pokemon Y there for the original game uh, you don't have to pit the met location you can just leave that blank uh, pit it in the Pokeball don't exaggerate on the Pokeballs it, it has to be a Pokeball unless it's uh, not a starter then you can just put it in a uh, premier ball, a dust ball, either of those two you could put it in. But if it's a starter, just go ahead and put it in the Pokeball. Uh, met level, just put up one. Uh, put the current met day, uh, put it as egg, uh, honestly. And then put the location where you get it, daycare. Uh, once that's all set, you don't have to worry about the stats, 
the IVs or anything like that. And if you want to go ahead, pit 31 IVs, you can go ahead and do it. Uh, if anything, I don't mind if you want to do that, but make sure that the whole EV slot is clear. If you want, like I said, if you want to have all 31 IVs, you could do that. Now, as to the attacks, it has to be uh, the first level up moves. So if it's if he already gets the move at level 1, that's it. And if you want to give it like egg moves, go ahead and give it egg moves. Because that will help out with the coming of the game. So give it egg moves if you want. Uh, TMs, move tutors, if you want to use those. But you can't give it up to moves that it cannot be able to use. And because I will check once I uh, hatch the egg, you know, so just to make sure, like, that's that and that done. And once that's all done and you got everything there completed, go ahead and you know, click it and see if it says illegal, and it will pop up that and saying that it's illegal. And there you go. Um, so once you have that all done, said and done, you go ahead and just send it to the email that I will have uh, labeled onto the description. And uh, yeah, there you go, basically. Uh, and then there's the same thing with before you do that as well, just to make sure to have, uh, you know, this. Like if it's a boy or a girl, you could do that. You know, and then you could just uh, re uh, re roll the little PDI number if you want. You don't have to do that, but just for a suggestion, maybe you should. Uh, and for the eggs to hatch faster as well, before I also forget that, uh, just have the egg counter, the H, the hatch counter zero, so the, the egg can hatch automatically. So that's another thing to do. Uh, that's pretty much it just to send me eggs you know uh, like I said oh, we'll have the email link down in the description down below where you go send me the eggs and I'll get your eggs uh, and I'll just uh, implement them onto the game and then uh, once I start up the uh, the uh, playthrough the 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 JD Zero Lock and get everything started that you guys will be able to see that and you will see the fact that I have your Pokemon and whatnot onto the game and there you go so if you enjoy this uh, I'll see you guys in the lock. Hey.